the whole idea that, you know, they're out there saying this election is not about age. Joe and the other guy are about the same age. Um, even for the debate, as, as Jesse's saying, they, they, they're going to be seated. We don't even get to see them walk in. They'll be seated so that, you know, there's one less obstacle to worry about for Biden. Forget the fact that Janine Pirro was peddling a debunked story that claimed Biden would be sitting for the upcoming debate with Trump. The main point is that MAGA conservatives appear to be panicking about their stable genius taking the debate stage. There's a mumbling, bumbling, stumbling, fumbling, you know, guy, he could barely string sentences together. However, I do take Tommy's admonition really seriously. I think we'll see the return of jacked up Joe. Whatever Joe drank, ate, took, before the State of the Union. Maybe it was just Red Bull and, and caffeine pills. I don't know. Whatever it was, that was not the normal Joe. We never saw it before, and we haven't seen it since. But we will see it for the debate. Now, there are some even saying, Mark, that Donald Trump might be wise to just pass on the first debate, wait till he's nominated, then debate him. What would you say to that? What happened to their tough guy? You know, the one that world leader would shake in their boots from the thought of him just walking into the room. We already know that Sean Handy was one of Trump's informal advisors during his time in office, so he's still in the business of trying to help him avoid disaster. Why is Sean so afraid of Sleepy Joe? I would add that moderators, Mike's, they need to be muted also after a question. Why? Because it's obvious the liberal media, they'd love to be two on one versus Donald Trump. No, that can't happen. Nor should networks be allowed to put anything on the screen but the names of the candidates because they might try to hurt Donald Trump that way and participate that way. No go. He's legit been panicking for over a month about it because the genius dealmaker trapped himself into debating Biden anytime, any place, under any terms because he barks before he thinks, which is also not a very good characteristic for a president that has to negotiate on the world stage. Uh, if you rewind back January, March, when the uh, Republican primaries were going on, and Trump was ducking all those primary debates. And he was getting a lot of heat. He was getting a lot of heat from DeSantis, from Haley, from other Republicans saying, why won't you debate? And he kept saying over and over again, I only want to debate Joe Biden. And then he started getting very brash with his pronouncements, both at rallies and on True Social. He said, anytime, any place, anywhere, anybody could host it, any network, any moderator, didn't matter. You name the time, place, the conditions, I'll be there. President Biden just issued you a debate challenge for June and September with the Veeps talking in July. Do you accept? Oh, absolutely. I've been trying to get, you know, he's issuing it. I wonder whether or not he shows up. I mean, he was talking some big about how long he's been waiting for it, that Biden won't show up. And for some reason that he can't beat him in golf either. Shows you how he'll prepare for a debate that Sean Handy is still trying to steer him away from. That means no fake Jake Tapper. Tapper is a radical left-wing partisan talk show host that masks raid as a journalist. You know, even announced this thing. They probably were all discussing it, knowing that, oh, well, we just agree he'll have to do what we say. It's going to be Joe's way or the highway. But what he's really trying to do here is ultimately, maybe he's really cowering away from any real debate. Either take my chosen liberal network with my chosen moderator with all my rules or I'm not going to debate. Secretly hoping that Donald Trump insists on basic fairness so they can duck and dodge and cower and hide and say, see, we tried to debate. This guy's biting his fingernails on air. He's so worried. But remember that he disparaged Jake Tapper and pay attention to that theory about Biden trying to get Trump to turn down the debate with crazy terms like shutting up while the other guy is speaking. See if you can tell who else advisor Handy might have been passing those talking points along to. You know, they gave me an offer that I couldn't accept. They said it's fake tapper is the moderator. They said, they said it's a sit down. It's a very sterile room. Nobody in, nobody allowed in, nobody allowed, not even your family. Nobody allowed in. There'll be no audience whatsoever. And they turn off your mics when you finish speaking. They're trying to make this very exciting, right? They turn off your mics so that you can't talk while the other man is 
talking, but maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's positive. Let them talk. But so they assumed that I would say no, because, you know, you got CNN, fake news, which their cameras just went off. Look, their cameras just, the light just went off. The CNN. He was stuck trying to escape over how weak and pathetic he sounded in front of his disappointed fans. So he yelled, squirrel, to get them to turn their red hats towards the media while he gathered himself. Their light just went off. I watch their light all the time. If I mention anything about voter fraud, they turn their light off because they know it's true. It's unbelievable. No, their light just went off. I can't believe I got about a minute and a half. That cameraman is toast. He's going to be fired immediately. But they gave me, it's like the mob. They gave me an offer I couldn't accept. I said, I accept. Because we want to get him to a debate. Because here's what happened. They made an offer that was so ridiculous. And they knew I was going to say no. And then they could go, they say, Biden wanted to debate, but Trump refused to debate, right? But Trump refused to debate, he wouldn't do it. But I said, yes. And now they don't know what the hell to do. It's projection on full display. But there's one more fake distraction that Trump and his evasion advisor are pushing. Biden's list of demands will also be in effect. And I have no doubt that jacked up Joe will probably return to the stage after a heavy dose of, oh, caffeine, Red Bull, Bull or whatever he took before the State of the Union. That was weird. No, I have fake tapper. Is the, uh, they said, I just want to debate this guy. But, you know. And I'm gonna I'm gonna demand a drug test too. By the way, I am. No, I really am. I don't want him coming in like the State of the Union. He was high as a kite. You'll just say that you're scared of facing off with an old man that you've consistently said can barely walk and can't speak. It might be better for them to start practicing and planning for him to try to detail something that sounds like a policy platform that doesn't include him being free of any and all prosecution for his crimes or how quickly he plans to arrest his political enemies and media figures for saying mean things about him. Down to the I want to see seats. you debate Donald Trump. I would pay, I would pay to oh do that if, that if that coward would get on the stage with anybody. No name any calling. of us would love to. Please. We don't do the name calling. No, he's a coward. I you cannot. going to be better. You, you cannot say no, you're in a presidential campaign right, go. but be too afraid to Thank get on the debate stage here. and defend it. You know, I remember back in 2020, I, I had a big party in Tallahassee for that first debate that Trump did with Biden. And the reality is Biden beat Trump in that debate. When Republicans are honest about Trump, we get to hear what they really think about him. And apparently he's a coward and lost the debate to Biden in the last cycle. So despite all this momentum for him being a felon and poll numbers the Republicans are celebrating, their guy is still petrified to face off with an old man, Joe, who has a rousing message about his plans on the debate stage. We are three weeks from this debate. What do you think you need to accomplish on that debate stage? Say what I think. Let him say what he thinks. The things he said are off the wall. I want to be a dictator on day one. I want to move in a direction where he talks about, you know, suspending the Constitution. All I have to do is hear what he says, remind people what he says and what I believe and what he believes. He, he's about him. I'm about the country. 